Hi, I've been doing a little bit of experimentation with this pressure sensitive material that is known as Velostat. Uh, it changes its resistance depending on the amount of pressure that you apply to it. So as you squeeze it, the uh, resistance goes down. Uh, you can see here there's a piece that I've cut that's two centimetres wide. It's very thin, very flexible. And I've cut that into a small square that is two centimetres by two centimetres, and I've sandwiched it between two pieces of rubber that themselves are two and a half millimetres thick. And as you can see, the bottom piece has got a couple of bits of uh, copper tape wrapped around it that has then got some connect uh, wires soldered to the back of it. And that is currently attached <laughs> by this terminal block to my multimeter. And as you can see, it's currently reading about 15, 16 K. And if I put my finger on it and press down, that goes down to about 4 K. If I let go again, it bounces back up to over 20k and then it will gradually, as it sort of settles down, return back to about uh, 15k again. You can see here, it pressed down there firmly, it's 4k, let go, back up to about 20k. If I put my finger on it quite lightly, let's see, I'm not putting very much force on that at all. It drops down to about 10k, let go, it goes back up to 20k, press it all the way down again, back to about 4k. So I was wondering, what could you use this for? One potential application of this sensor is as a velocity-sensitive button or pad, such as one that you might use to control a musical instrument. So what I've done here is I've connected it to this microcontroller circuit uh, using this uh, variable resistor up here to form a voltage divider. So that converts the changing resistance of the pad into a changing voltage that the microcontroller can then sample to change into note on and note off events. So you can see here, if I now tap this, it makes a piano sound. And if I tap it gently, it makes a quiet piano sound. And if I tip it, uh, tap it hard, it makes a loud piano sound, uh, or a forte sound indeed. So you've got that. So it does act like you know, a piano key would, and you can change instruments to have slightly different effects. So it's an organ, you can see. I'm not pressing it very hard, but it does keep the note on until I let go. And you can of course use that to also generate things like drum noises. Or something like a cymbal. But uh, yeah, I think that works pretty well. now. The software running on that microcontroller is absolutely horrible. It's all hard-coded thresholds and it doesn't really handle the uh, sort of calculation of the velocity very, very nicely. But uh, as a sort of a proof of concept, it does seem to work pretty well. I'm quite happy with how that's coming along.